Back in 1900, Max Planck discovered an amazing fact, and that was that he could explain the circumstance that any object heated to a given temperature always seemed to glow in the same way. It had the same mix of frequencies. If you had a big fire, the coal, a piece of iron, a steel nail, whatever was in it would all glow the same orange if it was at the same temperature. And Planck figured out in 1900 a way of explaining this by saying that matter could only vibrate with certain energies. And those energies seem to come in chunks of a measure of energy, now known as Planck's constant, H. And he introduced an equation that captured that. We call it now Planck's relation. And it says that E, energy, is equal to this fundamental constant, H, times frequency, nu. And since we know that frequency times wavelength is speed, you know, if I say there are three oscillations per second and each one is a meter long, that means that it's traveling out at three meters per second. I can write lambda, the wavelength, times the frequency nu is equal to the speed of light, c, in the case of light. So c divided by lambda is equal to nu, which means that we can also write the Planck relationship as E equal hc over the wavelength lambda, where c is, as usual, the speed of light. Now, what happened a few years later was really remarkable, because Albert Einstein reinterpreted this equation in a fundamentally different way. He said that this relationship of Planck was not just about how things would oscillate, for instance, molecules or atoms would oscillate in a piece of steel in a fire. It's really about light itself, and that light came in chunks. And if those chunks added up to a certain frequency, nu, the energy of a photon of that color would be exactly equal to h times nu. So Einstein concluded that, in fact, this expression, E equals h nu, was not just about the vibration of matter. It was about photons, that photons were little particles which seemed to have nothing to do with frequency. But when you added them up, they behaved like a wave of frequency nu.